Hi, my name is Mike Trout, and I'm here to share with you a really cool feature of the Osmo, and that is putting on a tripod. Here's the Osmo on a tripod, and it's very nice to have it on a tripod because then all of a sudden you can actually film yourself, and you don't even have to worry about moving it because the camera itself moves. So for time lapse and everything else, it's really cool to add it to a tripod, and all you need to do is remove this little attachment, which is a side hinge thing, and then screw it onto the attachment. Now this is the smaller of the size, you usually have different two different sizes, the fat one and the thin one, this is the thin one. So if you look at your tripod, you look like it would be fat, you know, screw in there, then that's not the right one. If it looks like thin and narrow like this one, then that is the right one. You know, I don't know the sizes, I just know fat and thin, and it's a thin one. My name is Mike Trout, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you don't have an Osmo, I'd strongly recommend you get one if you're out there doing amateur photography stuff. It's definitely a good investment.